Legislation is never an exciting thing, but it's an important thing because it dictates what happens in our farms. And the legislation that's changing around antibiotic usage is very, very important. I'm joined by Caroline again here. And Caroline, the whole point of this series is to make people aware of antibiotic resistance and how it affects them. And sometimes we need decision makers need to change things for us and there's new policy coming around antibiotic usage on farm so I suppose the first question when is when are the changes expected when is the legislation going to change the new legislation will come into force in January of 2022 so literally in you know just over two years time we will all have to work to comply with new stricter controls around the use of antibiotics and the whole driver behind this new legislation was antibiotic resistance and to protect human health animal health and the environment from this challenge so the legislation I, i've seen the legislation some of the changes that we'll explain to people will be coming down the lines is and often we use big words and those big words can, can confuse people and it can seem like the problem is far away and i think our objective has always been is this problem is not far away it's with us right now we're in a farmyard here it's around us it's everywhere prophylaxis uh, explain to me is this what, what's the new legislation saying around prophylaxis the new legislation is very much focused on stopping the preventative use of antibiotics which is what prophylaxis is I mean I'm sure you've encountered many examples where antibiotics are used just in case the animal gets sick the new legislation is saying you can no longer do that so the cases of, for example, giving all my dry cows an antibiotic, giving my lambs at birth maybe something like uh, spectinomycin to stop watery mouth, that type of group treatment is, is a thing of the past. We, we discussed before critically important antibiotics, uh, these you know, last line of defence antibiotics in human medicine. What's going to happen then post-2022? on farms? Well, as we discussed them in a previous video, these are critical antibiotics for human health. They're drugs of last resource. So the legislation is severely restricting their use and it may well come to pass that they will no longer be permitted for use in veterinary medicine. Okay, so there is big changes coming. How as a farmer do I prepare? You know, what do I do? I'm, I suppose looking at what's your advice, what's the department's advice now for farmers looking ahead towards this legislation change? Farmers need to look at how they're using antibiotics and in essence they need to reduce the quantity of antibiotics they're being using on farm because the whole driver behind the legislation is to reduce antibiotic use overall in the farming sector. Finally, okay, people will say, can we just not develop new antibiotics? But you said an interesting thing to me. When was the last time an antibiotic was developed? 1987. That's a long time. So we have no new antibiotics in the pipeline. We're protecting what we have and obviously legislation will help do that. It will. The legislation is being developed to incentivise the development of new antibiotics, but my sense is the reality of any new antibiotics that are developed will go into human health. And it's unlikely we'll see any new antibiotics coming into the animal health sector. So it is vital that we keep the antibiotics that we have working through responsible use. So protect what we have. Thanks, Caroline.